Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina, Texas Barn Aluminiums. Today, we are gonna fix this shower. We are at my house and my daughter's not getting any hot water from her shower. So we're gonna take that valve apart and uh, they have a mixer in the back that separates the water. I don't, I'm not a plumber. I don't know the correct name. However, I know how to fix it because I've done it before. <laughs> so let me show you, if you're having the same issue where you don't have any hot water, let me show you what you can do to fix it. So these are different depending on the brand, but this one's pretty simple. You simply unscrew the center like this. Now, make sure you turn off your water before you do this. Okay, there you go, comes off. There it is. A lot of times these are silicone to the uh, wall, so you may have to deal with that. This one has a big seal here, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we're gonna take these four screws out and be careful as you're taking them off because sometimes parts tend to wanna jump out. So I'd like to remove the bottom ones first. And remove the top ones. I like to put my hand under it just in case there's parts that fall out. There it is. Okay, so you guys saw I put my hand under there so the water doesn't go behind the wall. And I'm gonna st stick a rag in here. Just so that, again, water doesn't, it should be empty now. But anyway, so this is the part. Okay, and obviously it's better if you just order a new one, but, which we're going to do, but in the meantime, we're gonna try to fix this one. Okay, so we have the part right here. Again, be very careful not to lose anything, but you push and you turn, just like that. And you're gonna take it apart, okay? And then you start taking parts off. And uh, I'm gonna take all this apart. And again, you don't wanna lose any of this. All right, so you wanna take these off. Okay. Okay. So everything needs to come out. This thing is pretty dirty. Okay. So make a note of where this thing is, because this is what's gonna, this is what's gonna stop your, you know, how much hot water you can get. So make a note of that. There's a bunch of junk in here. And we need to make sure that it's super clean. It's riveted on here, so we can't take it apart any further. So now we're gonna take this, you find a container, plastic container, and we're gonna put this in CLR, okay? And uh, we're gonna let it soak for about 30 minutes, then we're gonna blow it out and uh, see if that helps. All right, so we're gonna take some of the CLR and we're gonna throw this in there, and probably this one too. Probably not gonna hurt anything. And we're gonna put enough CLR so that they're covered up. Just like that. Obviously, keep it away from children, pets, and everybody else, because it looks pretty tasty, but it's pretty deadly. So, man, eh, what the hell. <laughs> um, all these other small parts, I'm simply gonna blow them out with air. So that, you know, like all this stuff, pretty dirty. I'm gonna clean all this up and we're gonna try it again. Obviously, like I said, we're gonna order a new one. But in the meantime, here's the uh, part number. I think this is the part number. We'll call it in and find out. All right, 
I'll be back in about 30 minutes. All right, so it's been soaking for about 30 minutes. I'm just gonna transfer the liquid to another container. Make sure you wear rubber gloves. Okay, so I'm just gonna blow the parts out. Make sure you wear safety, everything. This is plastic, so. And after I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse some these parts in water. Look how clean this is. Nice. This is the one that really causes the issues. We ordered a new part. It's like $70 for both of these. But like I said, we're gonna try a new one or try to clean this one up in the meantime. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it in water and then I'm gonna put everything back together and we're gonna put it back in the shower and see if it, see if it works. All right, so there you have it. See this red one right here? This is your stop. This is what's gonna let you set how much you can turn that handle. And you can turn this one more or less. So right now we're just gonna set it in the middle because that's where we had it set. And uh, put this one on here. Put the screw in there. Just like that. All right, let's go put it back on. Put it in right there. Put the plate in there and put the screws back in. You want to use a manual screwdriver for this. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna test it. I'm gonna go turn the water on, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna put the trim back on. A lot of times you can simply use the handle to turn it off and on, so. Um, I'm just gonna put it back together. Cause I'm feeling lucky today. <laughs> All right, let's see, we got hot water. I'm gonna give it a minute. All right, so we're not getting any hot water. So I just realized how this one works. So we're gonna turn this all the way left. We put it right in the middle. So we're gonna go all the way to the left, right there. Try it again. Make sure this is really tight because like I said, this thing has a seal on the back. So make sure it's not loose. All right, nice and snug. Try it again. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, it's fine, it's perfect. Okay, so it's working? Yeah. All right, success, we've got hot water. All right, so we got hot water. So as you guys saw, it's pretty simple. Take that part out, dip it in CLR for 30 minutes or so, air it out, make sure you get a bunch of the junk out of there and put it back in, but order you a new one in the meantime, okay? Because this is not gonna last very long because there's still junk in there, okay? So uh, at least you can get the part number, whatever you need, so you can order a new one and this one will get you by in the meantime. So I hope that helped some of you. Uh, cause I know it's helped me <laughs> cause you know, the hot water always goes out when it's cold and at night when you're trying to take showers. So now you know how to at least fix it temporarily. All right. So I hope that helps. See you guys next time. We are Texas Barnum Mediums.